Air Force Deputy Commander of the Medical um, and uh, 50, 52 uh, people. Cox is a retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel. He was a Deputy Commander leading more than 50 soldiers about to deploy to Afghanistan when he suddenly had a stroke. I cannot uh, sp spell, okay. you know, and uh, I, it's frustrating. At 52, Cox is learning to speak all over again. The stroke impaired his ability to talk. USC professor and speech pathologist Julius Fredrickson says Cox has aphasia, which affects speech but not the mind. It's not a problem of intellect. As they get better with their speech, they're better able to express the thoughts that they always had. Annie Hill also had a stroke. The mother of four deals with similar frustrations. Those frustrations, however, seem lessened with a big smile. I'm a talker. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, you know, it's hard for get out, you know, because my speech is, you know, so that's mainly why. Both are patients of Dr. Fredrickson and will take part in a five-year study using low electrical currents on the scalp to improve the pace of therapy. The voltage is very low and cannot be felt by the individuals, and Dr. Fredrickson is looking to see a 10 to 30 percent increase in patient progress. And it's not something that is just going to go away in the next few months. It's going to be there forever. To see how they overcome these problems, it's, it's uplifting. Uh, it's my life and press on. You know, but sometimes I get down, but don't give up, so. Well, that's may be impaired. Their desire to pull through is strong. <laughs> yeah. In Columbia, Katie McKee, Watch Fox News.